In this short video I'm going to show you how to strip back gloss paint from door frames, skirting boards, doors. In this instance we are only just doing it from the door frame. We're stripping this room right back so we want to go back to the bare wood because we do get a little bit of a better finish. So I'm going to show you how easy it is using one of these, a hot day again. We've got a Max Power model, leave a comment below if you remember Max Power Car Magazine. And we've got a scraper. The hot air gun, you don't really need to spend a lot of money on. But as long as it's got the two settings and it blows hot air, I mean, what more do you need? Um, with the scraper, we have spent a little bit extra on that and got on a tidy one, just so it's nice and sharp for getting all the paint off. And we'll show you now how easy it is. So we start at the top, because it's easier to drag down rather than drag up. So just warm up the paint. Might take a little while in the first instance because the hot air gun hasn't been on. You will see it blistering. Or if you want to use the higher setting just to start it off a bit better. I'm not sure if you can see that but it is blistering quite nicely. So you just take the scraper and literally just pull down like that. Look how easy that is. Careful when you're not using the gun, that you don't aim it at anything you don't want to heat up. Best to turn it off. Safety first. So you can see the blister in there. Just scrape down. The scraper is shaped and got various angles on it so you can get in all the nooks and crannies and get in on the edges of the wood and right in the corners. Obviously use the straight edge when you've got the flat pieces like that but then you can use the curved edge there for doing on the edges. Make sure you don't touch the wood with the end of that or you'll end up with melted paint all over you hot air then and then there we are look don't be afraid to use the higher setting it will speed things up a bit not quite as accurate that's the only thing all the angles of the scraper to get it all off. Don't forget the end of this is very hot so don't touch it and try not to touch it on the end. You see that bubbling and then once it's bubbled just put the scraper down there and off it comes. It really is easy, you don't need any chemicals, no nitromorphs, nothing like that. Just literally heat it up. And off it comes. Periodically you're gonna need to Get all this off the end. Don't forget the scraper will be hot as well, so be careful. Especially if you've had it in the line of the air gun. And just to show that the hot air gun is required, this is what it's like to try and scrape the paint off without a hot air gun. You'd be there all day. Hot air gun on it. And voila! So there we are. Like I said, just a short video to show you how to use the scraper with a hot air gun. 
If you've liked the video or you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the boxes below and don't forget to subscribe.